If you're familiar with SolidWorks surfacing tools, then you've probably already created quite a few surface extrudes. However, in the past, these always required a sketch. You might like to know that SolidWorks now lets you extrude a surface from any 2D or 3D face. This lets you quickly create more complex geometry using existing surfaces in your models and without having to create an additional sketch. Let me show you what I mean. Here, I have a simple solid body part that I would like to add some geometry to off of these faces here. I'll go to Insert, Surface, Extrude, and the Surface Extrude Property Manager appears. Like I mentioned earlier, in previous versions you were limited to using this feature only on sketches, but you'll notice a new section of the message window describing how to create a surface extrude from a face. If you're selecting a 3D face to extrude from, all you need to do is select it in the graphics area. But if you want to select a 2D face, you must hold the Alt key while selecting it. If you were to just select the 2D face without holding the Alt key, you'll be put into a new sketch on that face to use for the extrude. I'll start by selecting a 2D face. I'll hold the Alt key and select this face. Immediately, the Surface Extrude Property Manager appears. Now I can use the selection window to select more than one face to extrude. These selections can be a combination of both 2D and 3D faces. Once I've made all the selections, I'll need to select a direction. I can select a face, edge, or vertex for this. And once I do, you'll see the preview of the surface appear. I can now set the distance of the extrusion with the spin box. I can create a draft by toggling the icon and setting an angle. Below the draft options, I have a checkbox to cap the ends of the extrude. When I create the surface extrude, remember only the exterior shape of the face is extruded. This leaves an open end, like you can see in the graphics area now. I'll check this box, and you can see the ends are now capped. In the Options section, there's an option to delete the original faces and to knit the result. Before I check these boxes, I'm going to click OK to create the surface extrude and show you what's been done. Notice it looks like a solid feature, but if you look at the top of the feature tree, you'll notice I have one solid body and two surface bodies. I'll edit the surface extrude feature once again, and this time, I'll check the box for Delete Original Faces. This will delete the faces I've selected for the extrude. Now, when I click the green check to complete the feature, there are no more solid bodies in this part, and only a number of surface bodies exist. To create a single solid body with the new geometry I've created, I'll check the Knit Result checkbox and all of the surfaces that knitted together, forming a single solid.